Hello there, this is Rahul and today we are going to talk about the VPC flow log and in this session we are going to start from the scratch where we are going to set up our VPC. We are just going to provision some resources like EC2 instance and after that we are just going to create a log group inside our uh, CloudWatch and after that we are going to set up some IAM rules which is necessary to forward our VPC flow log from our VPC to our log group. So there is a lot to cover, but let's focus on the point that what is VPC flow log. As you can see onto the screen, the VPC flow log is responsible for capturing all the traffic which is going out and coming in within our VPC. And this traffic can be captured using the CloudWatch log group. So on the left hand side, you can see there is a log group which we have created and that we are going to see into the demo. And here we are going to see all the logs which are coming in and going out of our VPC. Here is a quick glimpse of the fully functioning uh, VPC where you can see there is a VPC, there are a couple of subnet and in the uh, subnets you are having some resources, for example, EC2 and these EC2 instance can be replaced with the Lambda, ECS or Kubernetes cluster or any other AWS services. But uh, just for the example purpose, I have kept the EC2 instance. So this is a fully functional VPC along with the subnet and some resources. And on the right hand side, you will have our CloudWatch along with our log group. So we are trying to, we are going to capture all those uh, traffic uh, using our VPC flow log into our CloudWatch log group. So this is what we are going to implement in the today's step. All right, so let's start with our first step. And the first thing which we need to do is we need to create our VPC. So get back to your AWS dashboard. So this is my AWS homepage. And here in the search box, type VPC, click on the VPC link over here. Click on create VPC. Here we are going to choose the option for a VPC only. And here I'm just going to enter the name. So I'm just going to put a demo VPC flow log and after that we need to enter the cider range so i'm just going to put 12.0.0.0 slash 16 and here i'm just gonna stick with all the default settings over here and then click on create vpc and here you can see our vpc has been created the next thing which we need to do is if you take a look onto the diagram then we need to create a public subnet and the private subnet uh, for the demo purpose, I'll be working on the public subnet, but the same thing, same concept, same step can be applied to our private subnet as well. So just keep in mind, and this is just a note for you. So let's create the public subnet as well as our private subnet. So I'm just going to focus on first on the public subnet and the range of the public subnet. I have kept it a little different. So it is ending with 1.0 and here it is ending. The private subnet is ending with a 2.0. Okay, so let's go back to subnets and click on create subnet over here, select the VPC. So here's the VPC which we have created. And after that here, I need to enter the name. So I'm just going to check the name and name of our subnet actually. So here I'm just going to put demo VPC flow log uh, public subnet. Availability zone, I'm just going to choose 1A. And here the IP range I'm just going to assign is 12.0.1.0 slash 24. And here you can see the 256 IPs are available within the subnet. Then again, click on add new subnet. And here I'm just going to copy the name from here. And uh, I'm just going to paste it to our private subnet. So this is the name of my private subnet. Availability zone, I'm just going to choose 1B. And here I need to enter the IP range. So I'm just going to put 2.0 slash six sorry it should be 24. so here you can see uh, our public subnet and private subnet we have configured just click on uh, create subnet now and here you can see our both the subnets are ready moving further the next resource which we need to create within our uh, VPC is our internet gateway. And this internet gateway we need to attach to our public subnet so that it can access the internet. So for that, we are just going to go back to our VPC dashboard and the left hand side, you will find an internet gateway option over here. So click on internet gateway here, click on create internet gateway, put the name of it. So I'm just going to put IGW uh, VPC uh, flow log. So IGW is for Internet Gateway abbreviation and this is the name of my Internet Gateway. Click on Internet Gateway over here and now we need to attach it to our VPC. So here if you take a look then this Internet Gateway is responsible for public subnet but this Internet Gateway is also present within the VPC. So for that we need to attach it to our VPC. 
So for that, I'm just going to click on attach over here, select the VPC, which is demo of VPC flow log, which we have created and click on attach internet gateway. Okay, so now it has been attached. So the next thing which we need to do, uh, let's take a look onto the diagram over here is to create a route table. So we, we are going to create a two route table. One is the public route table and another one is our private route table. So go back to our dashboard over here. I'm again onto the VPC dashboard, same one. And here on the left hand side, you will find the option for a route table. So click on this route table and here I'll just close this uh success messages so click on create route table and here i'm just gonna create first the public route tables which is this one okay so here i'm just gonna put uh, uh, demo vpc flow log public route table select the vpc so i'm just gonna choose the vpc which is over this one demo vpc flow log because we are working in this vpc and after that i'm just going to click on create route table so i'm just going to copy the name for private route table as well so i'm just going to click on create route table and here you can see our public route table has been created let's go back here you can see public route table let's create a private route table as well so i'm just going to rename it to make it private and select the vpc which is this one and then click on create route table over here okay let's take a look so our both the route tables are ready now but the key thing over here is this public route table is created but it is not associated with our public subnet over here so we need to associate this route table to our public subnet and this private route table to our private subnet so that's the thing which we need to do so go back to first our public sub public route table go to subnet association click on edit subnet select the public subnet because we are associating with our public route table and then save association okay then go to route tables again go to private route table click on subnet association click on edit subnets and then click select the private subnets over here okay save association all right so now uh, you can see our subnets has been associated with our respective route table all right so our both the route tables are ready but the one thing is there is an internet gateway and this internet gateway has to be present inside our public route table so that it can route the request or internet request can be routed to our public subnet and this private subnet we don't need to attach internet gateway because this is an isolated private subnet which cannot be accessed from outside only the public subnet is accessible from outside from anywhere okay so that's why we need to create a route for internet gateway into our public route table so that that route table can forward that request to our public subnet so that's the uh, idea behind it go back to our uh, aws console and here click on the public route table over here click on edit routes and click on add routes and here enter the range which is 0.0.0.0 which means it is accessible from internet anyone can access it and the route we are just gonna assign it via internet gateway and the internet gateway is vpc flow log internet gateway which we have just created select that one and click on save changes Okay, so here you can see our changes has been saved and our pretty much whole the networking infra is pretty much ready for our VPC flow log. All right, the next thing which we are going to do, we are just going to create some resources. And as I told you earlier, we are just going to work on the public subnet. So we are just going to provision an EC2 instance. So uh, let's create this EC2 instance and then we will jump to the VPC flow log section where we are just going to create a log group and then we are going to set some permission and IAM roles. But let's fix this resource part. So I'm just going to create an EC2 instance into our public subnet. So get back to your uh, home page or the dashboard of our AWS. Click on EC2 over here and click over here. Click on launch instances over here and here i'm just going to enter the name of my ec2 instance so i'm just going to put uh, vpc flow log demo ec2 and here i'm just going to choose the image so i'm just going to stick with ubuntu and then i'm just going to stick with uh, t2.micro key pair i'm just going to create a key pair over here so key pair is necessary so that i can ssh into my ec2 instance and for that we need to create a key pair which means i'll be creating a public as well as the private key and here i need to enter the name of the key so i'm just going to enter like a vpc flow log demo 
key and this will create a public key and private key the public key will be associated with our ec2 instance but private key will be downloaded onto my local system once i create it so here i'm just going to click on create key pair and here you can see the private key has been downloaded onto my local system and the public key here you can see it is associated with our ec2 instance okay then click on networking settings so which is important because we need to configure this networking this ec2 instance is present into this vpc within this public subnet okay so here first of all choose the uh, vpc so i'm just going to choose demo vpc flow log where we are working In the subnet i'm just going to choose the public subnet public ip i'm just going to enable the public ip and after that the ssh yes i need to enable the ssh so that i can ssh into my ec2 instance and one more security group i would like to add is to enable the ping on my ec2 instance ip address so here i'm just going to select this one and icmp which is responsible for enabling the ping uh, ping command so that you can just ping onto the ec2 instance and after that i'll select anywhere so i can ping it from anywhere and after that we are good and rest of the details i'm just going to keep it default i'm not going to change anything and after that just click on the launch instances over here and here you can see our instance is launched uh, which is this right now it is in a pending state so it will be soon in a green state okay so now our whole networking infra is pretty much ready and now we will jump to our vpc flow logs action all right so to start with our vpc flow logs so i'll just show you the next flow into this diagram which is this one so on the right hand side you will see the whole vpc setup we have done so far and on the left hand side you can see a log group which is dev project log group so we need to head over to our cloud watch and we need to create a log group over there so go to to your AWS dashboard here so here you can see we previously launched our EC2 instance and it is now into running state so that's part is done so let's go to home page over here and in the search box type cloud watch click on this cloud watch over here and on the left hand side you will find the option for a log group so click on this log groups click on create log group and here I'm just going to enter the name so here you can see the log group details uh, retention setting never expire so I don't want this log group to expire KMS key I'm not going to put anything but I'm just going to put the log group name over here so let's put dev project uh, log group so this is the name of my log group a KMS key is uh, responsible for encryption of this uh, logs inside our log group but just for this demo I'm not going to use any KMS key I'm just creating a log group uh, and keeping it plain and simple then click on create a log group over here and here you can see our log group has been created so which you can see on the diagram so here you can see this is our cloud watch and here we have created a log group okay and this vpc will be sending this log to this particular log group eventually but we it is not sending right now okay the next thing which we need to do after creating a log group is to set up the iam permission and policy so that this vpc is using the correct iam permission and policy to send those logs to this correct log group so vpc uh, will be using those IAM roles and policy it's not the VPC there will be a networking interface and through that networking interface uh, we will be sending those log to this particular log group but we need to have a certain permission and what are those permission I'm just going to show those permission to you now so first start with the policy and the permission what permission it needs to create the VPC flow log into the log group so here are the permission which we need to assign to our role so these are the policies like create log group create log stream put log event describe log group and describe log stream so these are the permissions which is needed to your role so that it can write the log to the log group and this is uh, like a, okay so one more thing over here so this code is a terraform so same setup i have implemented using terraform as well so if you are interested into learning the terraform way which is the actual way uh, we work into industry so then just try to follow uh, my youtube membership program where i have shown these similar projects using the terraform way so i have 
shared this particular github repository to my youtube member so just go and join that uh, particular group if you are interested in learning the how it works and what are the code which we need to write in the terraforms to implement these kind of uh, requests anyway so now back get back to our uh, question that what kind of a roles and policies so these are the policies which we need the per permission set which you need to create inside your policy after that you also need to create a uh, assume role so this service needs to be uh, this service needs to assume that particular role over here. So here you can see this is a VPC flow log service and this uh, service will be assuming this particular role and which eventually be using these permission set to create those log group uh, logs inside our log group. Okay, so for that we need to create a role. So this is a Terraform code, but you don't need to worry about it right now if you don't know Terraform, but I'm just going to show you from a, a AWS console how to create the roles and the policies. So here this is the role which we need to create. So I'll just get back to our uh, AWS dashboard over here in the search box type I am click on the I am over here in the I am section on the left hand side click on roles over here then click on create role over here. And here I'm just going to use the custom trust policies option over here. And here we need to enter the custom trust policy. So I'll get back to my ID where I have already created this custom uh, trust policy. I'm just going to copy this one. And here I'm just going to paste that content over here. OK, so that it can assume that particular uh, service or the role which I'm just planning to create. OK, after that, click on next over here. And here we need to attach the policy. So here I'm just going to attach the policy and this policy is going to contain the permission set. So here I'm just going to look for cloud uh, watch. And here just check for cloud watch events full access. So here you can see it has permission to all the events, schemas and scheduler and pipes. Can we use this rule? Let's check over here. So here you can see no, we don't we cannot use that one over here so what i will do i'll just go over here and uh, i'll just create a role at this point of a time and we can create a custom policy and attach to that role so as of now i'm just creating a role i'm not attaching any policy that we will do it later so let's go ahead click on next over here and the role name i'm just gonna put uh, vpc flow log i am role okay so remember i have only created this assume role policies which is for this particular service only this part i will create this part uh, later okay so after that just click on create role over here and here you can see our role has been created so just copy and keep it safe somewhere so i'm just gonna put a comment over here and just keep the name of my role handy over here okay that's done and the next thing i'm just going to create is the policy so here on the left hand side click on the policies and click on create policies over here and here i'm just going to use the json one and here i'm just going to copy the policy document from here so here i'll just copy it from here till here this is the policy which i need i'll just control a and remove this one and after that mm, there seems to be something wrong with my permission set let me check i recopied the policy from my uh, intellij id from where i have already written that particular policy so there was some uh, copy paste mistake which i have did and here you can see this is the policy which i'm trying to create now so there is no error and here i can just create this policy now so here click on next over here and here i'm just going to put the name so i'm just going to put the name which is uh, vpc flow log i am policy then click on create policy over here okay so now uh, the policy has been created so i'm just going to copy the name uh, for this policy and go to my notepad and i'm just going to paste that one also here 
Okay, so now we need to attach to this particular role, this particular policy. Okay, so I'm just gonna open that particular role once again. So get back to your AWS console, go to roles over here and just search for the role, which is this one, click on this role. And here you can see we already fixed the trust relationship. So here, this is the permission which we have fixed for our trust relationship. Now we need to fix the permission. So click on permission, click on add permission, attach policies. And here in the search box, you can just type the name of the policy which we have just created, which is this one. So copy this one and search it. Click on this and add permission. So here you can see uh, now the policy has been updated. So now the policy has been updated to our this particular role, which is this one. OK, so let's get back to our diagram. So now our VPC is ready. Our log group is ready. Our IAM permissions are ready. Now we need to fix the uh, VPC flow log settings. So for that, uh, what you need to do, you need to go to your VPC in the search box, type VPC, click on VPC over here. And here we need to work on our VPC, which is this VPC, which is our VPC flow log demo VPC. So here click on the VPC and this is the demo VPC flow log. So click on this VPC ID and here go on to the flow logs, click on the flow logs and here click on create flow logs. And here put the name to the flow log. So flow log EU uh, central one vpc so this is the name of my flow log setting so filter i'm just accepting all the requests uh aggregation level so i'm just keeping it for one minute so that we can see the updates frequently onto our log group and after that send to cloudwatch logs so yes i want to have it onto cloudwatch logs destination log group so here we need to enter this here you can see this is the log group which we have created previously so select that one over here and i am role so here i'm just gonna need the i am role which is this one uh, i'm just gonna copy this name and put that i am role over here and select that one okay and log format i'm just going to use the aws default log format i'm not going to change that one and after that just click on create flow log over here and here you can see our flow log has been created. Now the next thing which we are going to do, we are just going to go to our log, CloudWatch log group and see some logs coming into our v, as a VPC flow log into that particular log. All right. So in the search box, click on or type CloudWatch uh, and click on this CloudWatch over here. And in the CloudWatch on the left hand section, you will find a log group. So click on the log groups over here. And here you can see this is the log group which we have created in the past so which you can see from the diagram here as well so this is the log group which we have created we have fixed the im role so here you can see a hat which means our im role and permission has been fixed so if you go into this particular log group over here and then scroll it further down in the log stream so it should populate the eni that is the elastic network interface so here you can see this is our elastic network interface which is responsible for pushing or capturing the VPC flow log into this particular log group. So if you click on this particular uh, uh, ENI and then it, you start noticing that there are some logs which are coming in from our EC2 instance. Okay, so which I can show you. So if you open that EC2 instance over here and then click on this instance ID and then click on this instance ID over here and then if you go to the networking and here you will find a uh, ENI, which is this one. So copy this ENI ID from here. And if you go to the log group and if you control F and try to find that one. So here you can see the ENI ID is same. So here we have provision and EC2 instance and this EC2 instance is using this ENI. So that's why it is using that ENI to capture those all VPC flow log. So that's a, only one resource which I have shown to you, but there could be a number of resources running into your VPC using the different ENI. So all those ENI can push that log to this particular log group as well. 
okay so one more thing which i would like to show you is just to uh, ping certain uh, website and see if we are able to capture those ip addresses onto our vpc flow log or not to do that what i need to do is i need to go to our ec2 instance so that i can start pinging from my ec2 instance so here just click on this instance id and here just click on connect over here and go to ssh client and here you will find the ssh command so to uh, ssh into our ec2 instance so copy this ssh command and here you can see this is the private key uh, which is available onto your local system so i told you that it will be downloaded onto your local system which you can see from here this is the file uh, which is our private key which has been downloaded onto my local system so i'm just going to use that key to ssh so for that i'll just go ahead over to my terminal and this is my local terminal on my local laptop so i'm just going to run the ls command and here you can see this is the key which you can see uh, which is available on my local machine and here uh, the first thing which you need to do is you need to use the ch mode and make it a read only key so i'm just going to run this command and now if you take a look then here you can see this is only read only which is r okay so i'm just going to copy this ssh command from here and i'm just going to clear the screen and paste that command and type yes to connect and here you can see now we are inside our ec2 instance i'm just going to clear the screen and now what i'll do i'll just try to ping google and we'll try to capture this ip address into our vpc flow log so i'll just copy this ip address over here and i'll just go back to our cloudwatch log group uh, which is this one i'll start again so click on this log group and then click on this eni and here you can see this is the log group which is coming in so i'll just put a filter over here and hit enter and it will take us few minutes because i have just started to ping in so it might take a couple of minutes to view those log over here so i'll be back once those logs are visible and here you can see after a couple of minutes the ip addresses are visible over here so this is the request which has been captured and here you can see accept okay so i am able to ping that particular google.com successfully and it is showing into that particular log group log message so this is how you configure your vpc flow log and this is how you start inspecting your traffic which is coming in and going out of your vpc i hope this tutorial will helpful to set up your own vpc flow log to work within your vpc and inspect those traffic